Hey, today we're going to be going over this Subaru Forester conversion that we've just completed. As you can see, it's got a special paint theme. You can actually find more about this product on our website. We do have model specific listings coming out for many of the popular conversions that we've done. In the past, we've done a similar one with a red shroud. We've also done conversions like this that retain more of a stock look. This is actually for a 17 to 18 Forester. That's what the housing is from. And that newer style housing, facelift if you want to call it, does have that integrated diffuser where we're able to put this C-Light from Dio Dynamics in. That C-Light gives you a little bit of a newer Subaru kind of look. And that was not available on the 14, 15, and 16 model years. However, this assembly can fit those older model years. So it is interesting how it all works. Uh, this is the G5 BRT by Xenon Projector. That's the Iris Shroud, and we did a gold to match uh, the customer's theme on his vehicle. Everything's been painted a semi-flat black, uh, including the amber reflector, including the low and high beam reflector, turn signal reflector. That is a personal preference that you can make on your own if you want us to paint that. Everything is fully functional despite it being painted. Obviously, an amber reflector can't be functional, but all the other things are functional. Um, the sea light is bright enough to be run as a daytime running light, a parking light, as well as a turn signal. So those diodynamic C lights are certainly visible during the day and they can act as a standalone turn signal, meaning you don't really need to run that inner turn signal. It is blacked out. Of course, it won't be as reflective as it normally would inside a blacked out housing, but you can choose to disable that. You can run it if you want. Um, your high beam reflector obviously is blacked out and that will not be good for performance, but you know, you can run the G5 BRT as is. So we would actually recommend uh, not even plugging in that high beam bulb because it won't do you any good. Uh, maybe flash to pass will work really quickly, but even then there's not going to be any reflective material there. So it's not going to do you any good, but paint scheme here, really cool. really like how this one came out. looks really awesome. And we'll show you how it looks when it's all set up in, uh, in the shop here. We'll show you an output in just a moment. All right, so we've got a Matsushita ballast powering up this setup here. These are the Osram uh, CBI Next Gen bulbs. It's got a nice uh, neutral white effect. Obviously, the sea light's not on. We've got the other light that we just showed you over there on the workbench. This is the output from just one projector. Huge, huge increase over stock reflector. Uh, this projector is really nice. The new G5 BRTs, they don't bow as much. They look a lot straighter. Nice color in the center. It's a bi on system. We're not gonna show you right now. It's not hooked up, but these come out awesome. And if you guys have any questions, let us know. We offer, uh, you know, full service. You can install it on site if you want to drive up. This is how it looks when it's just kind of glowing. So with the warehouse lights off, it looks a lot more uniform behind that diffuser. And you can tell it gives it a kind of a modern Subaru look. So let us know what you think about this project. Leave us a comment below. We look forward to hearing from you. And uh, subscribe to the channel when you can. We uh, definitely appreciate your support. And uh, we look forward to hearing what you think.